What's up, chicks of peace? And today, people, we're bringing you another episode of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's play and focus. So, if you don't mind, just tell me the like button down below. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We are about to finish up the storyline for Team Star. Uh, I did some raids off screen just to sort of level my mons. Um, they're all level 55 now, so we're still under leveled, but not. 10 levels below like we was when we faced uh, Director Clavel. Right, um... Um... Was it the schoolyard? Was it the schoolyard we were supposed to go? I feel like it was. Here we go. Jigsaw. Thanks for coming. It's Penny! Who would have funked it? I would have. I would have funked it. Yeah, this must be quite a shock to you. Not really. The big boss, Casapia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make work of those team star lackeys outside the school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall cut suddenly came to me. My skill let me hold off as much LP as I want. So I decided to use that to tip you into helping me out. Off the operation start up, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had to, you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Let's do it. Thanks. Oh, Clive. Sorry to keep you waiting. The letter of apology, Miss Time, had me, uh, I mean, preparation took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, uh, no, I mean, is that you, Casapia? It's in the flesh. I, I have a task for you, Clive, if you accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I see it. I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay, we'll do. Why didn't he dress up as Clive again? The, the cat's out of the bag, my dude. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Okay. Does she have all evolutions? Is that what? Is that what we're doing? I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Level 62, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're going out to Tinkerton. We're breaking molds. And then we'll be breaking skulls. We resist, thank you. Play rough. I should have faked that, to be fair. Ah. Drop my attack. Okay. And we're gonna... Wait a minute. I've just... Trigger... Ticked on what the music's like. Oh, it's so good! What? Popping mu... This game... The best music of all time. Best music of all Pokemon games, hands down, no shadow of a doubt. The OST in this is fucking fire. He can baby doll eyes as much as you like, uh, Penny. Because we will just switch out. I love it. I love it. Take down. Anyway. Flareon! Alright, we got switch. It's going to Tatsa Goody! Yeah, she's, she's going to be an Eevee user. I wonder how many Eevees, or what Eevee is going to get left out. Because there's the three originals, then the two extras, then two extras, then one extra. There's seven Eeveelutions, so I wonder which one's going to be left out. Anyway, Muddy War. Muddy War! You can baby doll eyes all you like, I'm special, bro! 
See, this is where picking Tatsuguri instead of Dodonzo has come in handy. I'm just jamming <laughs> Jolteon. Alright, Jolteon, Great Tusks. I'm feeling this music. It's so goddamn good. Earthquake, bro. See you later. Alligator in the wild. Crocodile. <laughs> yeah. Vaporeal. Now, this is where things get a little, little more difficult because I don't actually have a direct uh, answer to a water type. So I think the play is Bass Caliber because we resist anything he wants to come at me with. And then we just go in. Much like this music, bro. Um, I, I kind of want a Glaive Crush. I'll Dragon Claw and then maybe I'll Dragon Glaive Crush. Crush, 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 crush. Finish. Another one. All she's done is baby doll eyes. Have you noticed? I, I, I did raids. I got AXP candy in preparation for this. And all I've seen you do is use baby doll eyes. Negative priority? No, just slow. He misses I your pump. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. Oh, I misclicked. I meant to go down. I wanted to see what Glaive Rush looks like. That's sick! Wait, I didn't see. Ah, oh, I didn't see what was coming out. Okay, narrow it down, Jamie. I think Skirrel Edge would be a good chat. Because it's either Espeon, Sylveon, Glaceon, or Leafeon. Three out of four of those, Scarol Edge can handle. Probability, baby. Wow. Sylveon. Alright, Tinkerton. I can't fight you on your battle skills at all. No wonder why the boss fell at your hands. Gigaton Hammer! Time to rest lies. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be! I wonder what type it's going to rest lies to. You think it's going to be psychic? Seeing it didn't, she didn't have the psychic evolution? No, no. Oh, it's fairy. She didn't have Espeon? Can't use it twice in a row. My VV power will crush you into stardust. Oh, resist it, baby. My gigaton is going to crush you into stardust. Didn't lose a single Pokemon, didn't use any heals, didn't use anything that 
Them extra levels were worth it, baby. Worth it. Woo! It's all over now. Hey, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. Lovely jobble! Lovely jobble! Alright, thank you very much. Get off my screen, I want to see the rest of the story. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and now should the villains persist their tyranny oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah. They didn't even send out their Pokemon, they just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. The bullies may have a huge stink about what went down and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired us epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right, the little stump might have pulled us up a creek. I'll fix this mess on my end, just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all in this. Into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. A noble and kind boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh, yeah, what about you? I can't go back. Why, there's no reason to stay shut in the room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were also kind to me. Stop it right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to take care of some things. Pretty, speak to us. What is thy intention? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye guys. Thanks for everything. Oh No! No! Go get her! Oh. <laughs> I thought it was life. Thanks for everything, Jigsaw. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is for Team Star and me too. Oh that for Miss uh Penny? I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? I resort to something like Operation Star for if you're the big boss of Team Star. Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses we were done for before, but they did, still didn't quit. Why well, not simply order them to? Our code says no one on the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to do all sorts, all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required them to do. Even the leave the team? Yes. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. That's the idea of Operation Starfall. Castle Pier, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Ah! Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of all this situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk any further, allow me to reveal my own secret identity. Ah! Dr. Clavel, Doctor? Director Clavel? Just as Cassipia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some feelings about that wig. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Mm. 
Yeah! Yo, big boss, long time no see. M Momo? More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Millie. The verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How long you been this whole time? How you been all this time? Forty. We found you at last. You have no idea how worried we've been. Mary. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Castapia! This is such a sweet story. Fucking hell. Stories are banging in this, actually. Like, I, was, I haven't seen the conclusion of the gym one, but these two stories are just so good. Like, take away anything else. Like, if, even if you don't like the team star base or whatever, I like them, but even if you don't, the story itself is so good. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I don't... I still don't mean... I mean, what? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. And since the first day as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessed free from bullying. But now I know the peace was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage to put things right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it is? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should yet be your wish. Woohoo, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together! Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed you all. You mean uh, Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you're the only one went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever clunk the team just because someone told us to, after all, ain't our style! I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have fear, feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I've got more to say. As previously stated, the requirement team start to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your pro protracted truancy, your blazing customization of the school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of the academy equipment, your reckless modifications and jeopardous driven of Pokemon power vehicles. Now I need I go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot be overlooked. <laughs> Thus, as punishment, you'll be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for? The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for Academy to find them in col collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Mr. Jigsaw battling his way through your bases. The glaciers constructed as well as the bases tactic employ tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And this is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no, it sounds like fun, so I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, since we're at the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It is true. We would be mostly happy. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too, the way if it, anything happens, they'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what'd you say? You guys. So what do you think? Just get on with it, man. Uh, but, um, I just... Uh, no need to give you a response right now. Miss Penny, do take some time to decide. For now, at least I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Master Jigsaw, please stop by my office later if you would.
Okay. Okay. Oh, here you are, Mr. Jigsaw. I wanted to thank you for the hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my course of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Uh-oh. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, oh, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. About the STS, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But um, I, I should be punished more heavily than others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not because of that. Because of the others really bad things I did. And what would that be? Um, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall, I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard. I, uh, I mean, I'm really sorry for I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Mr. Jigsaw, but I would have to ask you to give us some privacy. And why did you call me? Bruh. Rope, 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 rope. Jigsaw. Penny? It's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. Oh my god, how much more? Talk about drag it on. Hasta la vista. The six of us fought up at catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringingly per it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they let me off easy. That's great. The Pokemon League said they waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. But even not they even asked me to come work for them after I graduate. I, can you believe that? Dr. Cravel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have an outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um... Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't be an ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Why is she giving me Draco Meteor? She's the Eevee trainer. Is that a hint towards a Drake Drake <laughs> Dragon Eevee Lucian? I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Jigsaw. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Okay. She just wanted to give me Draco Media. Star full straight. Complete. Hashtag bars. Alright. Alright, I think it's time we go ahead and we complete another storyline. Wait, is this a door? Ah! Okay. Seriously, you beat me here? I mean, I did a lot as well. Well, you took forever. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. Well, there better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says she's got some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her even playing with me. Her own kid. Mabo Stiff is the only one who was there for me, always. Married to her work. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. Okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's okay. I'm dead. Ooh, 
cutscene. This cutscene looks good. Oh. I need your help. That's it? I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the greatest crater of Paldea. I have been researching the unique Pokemon here for quite some time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. The final step? But there's something we need, need to we need first, something that can't be found within that lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, you mean this book? Oh, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it'll be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were enter alone. You may take time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be waiting for you in the deepest part of Area Zero when you arrive. Ooh, Area Zero. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabostiff got wounded in the first place, down in the Great Crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you going to go? Of course I'm going to go! I suppose she did ask. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. So I guess I'm going too. Besides, I'd love to give Mum a piece of my mind. All right then, Jigsaw, outside! We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if you're ready, to, really ready to he head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go! Okay. Okay. Okay, big dog. Let's do it. Have a battle. A competitive battle. I'm ready to go. Alright, you ready for a battle, Jigsaw? Let's do it! Excellent. You're ready too, right, Mabostiff? What? Yes, Mabostiff says he's ready. You're battling with Mabostiff? Oh, yeah. I can see why you'd be worried. Yeah. But my buddy's bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone. I was whining at me wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he's always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl, the bat fant fanatic one. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Mabastiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Let's do it. Do it. Let's battle. Let's go. Ready? Don't want to woods. Okay, Greedon. That Pokemon I met during our hunt for the Herba Mysticas and all stars, every one of them! He's level 58, which isn't too bad, actually. We can go to Great Tusk. I think I was probably supposed to do this then the star base, but it's fine. It's star stuff, but it's fine. Body Slam? Just don't parry me. 
Oh, one thing I asked. The one thing I asked. I asked for one thing. Alright, we can break break. We're still faster. Oh, I didn't switch out the Staravia, did I? Or did I? I don't remember. Whoops. What else she got? No, I did not. Giga impacts? Eh, no. Fire blast? High risk, high reward. Ah, no. Toad scroll? That's grass, ground. Oh, 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 he's not gonna like this ice fang. Oh, no. Alright, Toad Scroll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Garga Garganocle. That's the rock. Um, I'll go Tinker Tom. We'll go get some hammer it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Only problem is I think his salt cure does more to me. Um, so let's hope this does enough. Ah, don't salt call me. Okay, okay, okay. Soul Cure could be a problem. Alright, Play Rough should should seal the deal. He's level 62, so actually... Oh, it doesn't! Earthquake. We did just lower his attack. Okay, we're okay. Woo! Uh, knock off. Knock off to finish, just because it's... I don't know, you know. Sounds like he's farting, what the hell? Go villain. Um, grass fire. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go scare ledge. Just a uh, torch thingy, majiggy. Yeah, up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, Torch Song! Good damage. Oh. Well, we outspeed. Okay. Uh, Cloister. Don't really have an answer for Cloister. Um. Mm, I'm gonna go Tatsuguri because we have Dragon Pulse. Um. Probably the best bet, right? Special. Because isn't he more of a physical wall than he is a special wall? That's, that's my full process, anyway. Alright, let's go for Dragon Balls. Oh? Yes, sir. Neutral. Only hit twice, please. Only hit three times, please. Only hit four times, please. Okay, never mind. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, let's go to Tinkerton. Uh, play rough to finish? Yeah, boy! And finally...
Mabo Stiff. I'm sorry, Mabo Stiff. I don't want to fight you. I really don't. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. Time to terrestrialize, Mabo Stiff. <laughs> That was English, I swear. I swear it. Yeah, he's gone dark type. There's Fire Fang. Ah! Shit. Um. Mm. The problem is he's outspeeding me. I'll brick break, break, but I think with the para, I don't know if he one shots me. That was 63. Yeah, let's play rough. We live, though! Okay, if I can live that, then we just heal. We just heal and move on. It's very simple. It's very simple. We just heal. We eat this crunch. Nom 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 nom. And then we break break. Attack drop. I don't think it matters. I think we'll still knock him out. Yeah, boy. Hmm. Sorry, my bow stiff. We were so close, Mabasif, so close, but Jigsaw. Thanks, little buddy. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate over me, I think I do think we're gonna need some more support. The Pokemon in the area zero are super strong and there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I say we need at least two more people, someone somebody with champion rank level skills and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. That sounds like Penny. Penny? That's a smart hacker girl who was a big boss behind Team Star? I mean, yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. But when did you go making friends with some shady character like her? Well, you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. Whoever you think could help, just try and get in good with them. We'll see if we can get the team together. Get in touch, you make progress. I'll do the same. So have I got to complete the other stories then? Probably, right? Half of Legends complete. Oh! Oh, so is like loads area zero like the post game stuff? Pokemon Lee building looks so cool. I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Okay. I need the last bit of training. Sure. Meow. That's right. Bro, we are leading with the right Pokemon. You have level 14. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What are you actually doing? I thought... <laughs> okay. Well, losing one's why you're marking an occasion. Bro, you're an idiot. Taking on the league? You look like you got promised, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. Alright, Paco. He's got a crocodile. Yo, that's cool. That's very cool. I'm just going to brick break him. He's on par with me, so at least this one has got something going on. He's whipped up a sandstorm. That's fine by me. Yeah, it's fine by me, my dude. Oh, she got. Oh, she got a bronze on. I wonder if it's Heatproof. The last one we faced, uh, last bronze on I faced, it was Heatproof. Heatproof. Oh, it lived! That's that sandstorm. Why would he rain dance? 
Why would he rain dance? Oh, very weird. Seraledge? Yeah, why would you rain dance for a fire type? Yo, Seraledge is so cool. Oh my god. Alright, well, we could have clicked that earthquake. Bop. Meet Google. Yo. Skeletor Ridge is level 59. Ah, did you get some growth out of that? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> I'm the moment. Let's get it. Let's get it, dude. Gimme girl. Here we go. <sighs> Hello, Jigsaw. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Jigsaw. Look forward to meeting you again soon. Ooh. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League Champion Assessment? Let's see here. Jigsaw from Narana Naranja Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well, you may now proceed into the interview room. I have an interview. Like a job interview? It is? Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. Uh, okay. Hi, Riku will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. To begin with the interview, first things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask a few questions. If you wouldn't mind, Jigsaw, please think carefully as you will or may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? Where are my Pokemon? Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Naranja Academy. Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Become a champion? Yes, indeed. What else would you be here, I suppose? Now, do you intend what do you what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Become even stronger. I see, interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Oh. Um Not the ghost or ice. Uh, um, I think this. So, who did I take on before the psychic gym? The normal one. Is it Lavencia? I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Barry. I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results. Thank you again. Please now excuse me. Oh well. How'd that happen? Huh? Sorry to keep waiting, Jigsaw. Now, regarding the results of the portion of the champion assessment, I'm sorry to say you didn't pass. What? You can take the champion assessment as many times as you can. Hope you come back for another try. What do you mean I didn't pass? Where are my Pokemon? Naranja Academy. 
Become a champion. Become even stronger. Uh, I think the psychic gym gave me the most trouble, right? Yeah. The Alpha Nether gym. I see. What was the name of gym lady you faced there? Uh, Tulip. I'm glad you seem to remember. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Tulip used? Psychic. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for a champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Jigsaw. Was the category of the, of the Pokemon you chose to be your first... What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be the first po Fire Croc Pokemon. Very good, very good. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if you become a champion? I want to become stronger! Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Ah, I'm nervous. Do you like Pokemon Jigsaw? Yeah! Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up this interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Jigsaw. You passed the first part of the champion assessment. I me. Mean, honestly, I didn't know how you bundle bludged it before. But anyway. Oh, he mentions I messed it up! Come on, bro! But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The next segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we'll be the best of the... We're the best the league has to offer, and you'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready and go into the room behind me. Let's do it! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm ready to go, bro. I'm ready to go, bro. I'm ready to go, bro. I'm ready to go. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let, let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'd go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast! Ooh. Okay, leads with a wish cash. I wish I had a grass type. This is bad for me. This is not a good thing for me. I finally get a bow to you. I've been looking forward to this so long. Don't you give up too soon. This is intense. Um, yeah, this ain't good for me. Uh, let's go back to Calibur. Possibly. Okay, we eat that. Didn't lower my accuracy either, which is great. Uh, do we outspeed? Can we get flinches? We outspeed. Lynch. Oh, defense drop. Okay, Earth Power. We eat that. Okay. Okay, first Pokemon down. Not too much of an issue. Get handled, bro. Don fan. If I outspeed, we're good. If I don't outspeed, we're not good. 
So let's go Tatsuguri. Let's play it safe. And if I don't one shot. Because I was going to Ice Fang it, but I might not one shot. Alright, Dumb Fan. Catch a Muddy War. Thirty? Yeah. It's a good thing I switched. Jesus Christ! Uh, Muddy Wall can miss. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse. It seems like he's ground type. He's had all ground type so far. Hug Trio. I'm gonna let um, Tatsugiri go down, I think. Because there's no way we outspeed. And he sucker punched me anyway. Okay. Um, what's my second answer for this thing? Um, Excalibur. Yeah. Oh, Ice Fang. Do we outspeed? We don't. But he sandstorms. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, this should knock him out. Dugtrio's defense is not all there. Yeah, boy! Alright. What else you got? Now. Camera opt? Oh, Tatsuguri would have been amazing. Alright, we can go Great Tusk and Earthquake. We can go Great Tusk and Earthquake. It's fine. That's not ground type, by the way. That's rock fire. It's more of a sand team than a, a ground team. Alright, click that earthquake button. See your dumb fan? Mine's bigger. <laughs> and cooler. Claude Sire? Keep current Pokemon in. <laughs> Impressive, you really are something else, kiddo. Your red eyes. Yeah. Earthquake. Let's finish this. Go on, Clogside. Shake things up a bit. Terrestrializing. Ground? Yeah, ground. Okay, Cloud Size is a pure ground now. Cloud Size is great. Let's be real. You protected? Okay. Toxic. You toxic individual! Alright, that's fine. The earthquake's a two shot anyway. Bah! One Dan. One Dan. Um. Sure. All right, Rika. Eureka defeat. <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. Okay. Uh. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Skip limbs evolving. Got the Breloom! Breloom, 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 Breloom. Register him in that Dex. Yeah, boy! Mark Punch? Sure. I'm just clicking buttons. We need, we need to move on. He's still clapping. 
Talk about unfair. No way was I ever going to win that one. Still tough. What a great battle. So good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do. Better stay on your toes, though. The second the elite four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Coming. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Okay. Over Applin. I know it's weird, middle of the Elite Four, but we're here. Fuck it. I don't think I have the uh, another Applin or the item to get um, Appleton anyway, so... There's that to it. Are you ready? Yes! I wonder what team she's going to use. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, mister. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you see? I can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. Hey. Okay. Alright, Poppy. Paparaja. Okay. Um. Go on, Raja. Smoosh him. I mean, we're fine with this, right? We just Earthquake. <laughs> okay. Or of a night. Uh, let's use Skeledurge. Skeledurge for the core of a knight. I said a Skeledurge for the core of a knight. I said a Skeledurge for the core of a knight. I said a Skeledurge for the core of a knight. Short song, baby. Bow. Oh, he's living, actually. Is her still? Is her still type? I don't want it. Um. I just torched song again. Listen, if I can stay in, I'm plus two special attack, right? At that point, we, we just shred anything. Bronzong. He might be heatproof, but... Being plus two? I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. Okay. Magnazone? <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> Yeah, alright. Sure. Yeah, I think he has sturdy though. So he will live. Yeah. Plus free special attack. He went for a light screen. That's what you settled on. Wow. I'm gonna hyper voice just to rub it into you. Resisted hits knock you out, baby. Let's do it. Tatsuguri's the world here, and Tinkerton. Well, I'm, like I say, I'm like plus three. I'm not scared my last Pokemon will turn things around. I think she'll um, terrestrialize Steel type. Personally. Personally. Uh, so I'm going to Torch Song. It's time to get dressed up all pretty, Tinky. Okay. Is it the still one? It, it is the still one. There's an axe in its head. It's the first time we're seeing the steel first time we're seeing the steel type terrestrialize. Um so that's quite funny. And it misses the It misses its attack. 
I'm sorry. That didn't knock her out. That's insane. That's plus three. We went for Stone Edge. We eat. And then he crit me too. Bada bing, bada boom. British guy in the room. What can I say? Other than va 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 room. Alright. Elite Four member number two. Down and out, baby. Sure, you can learn power, Jim. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. On on Rika? What Rika do? Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Oh, there you go. You thinking what I'm thinking? Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right, I haven't had to do this in a long time. <laughs> it's your turn, Mr. Larry. Larry! No way! Oh, my boy, Larry. We love Larry. He works hard. Hello there, it's me, Larry. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> He's so funny. Okay. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel I have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with El Pre Premier. El Mira. Oh, I fool you. I left the Great Task game thinking you're going to use normal types. Anyway, time to get to work. Your boy Larry! He works like three jobs. He's running a restaurant, he's a gym leader, he's a League 4 member. Oh. That's a problem. Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Okay, well... Thanks for the hint. Thanks for the hint. We're going with Bax Calibur. Hitchy back. Speaking of Bax Calibur. Sunny day. You got chlorophyll mums? Nice thing. Oh, he has Dragon Pulse. Okay, we eat that. Am I terrestrialized? Oh, come on! Axe Calibur, you can't be missing, my dude. You can't be missing. Alright. Get the thing with Dragon Pulse out of the way before we can even think about potentially healing. Staraptor? Ah, oh, doesn't Staraptor get close combat? You know what? And he intimidates me. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? The sun's at. Going to scare ledge. Predict the close combat. Immunity, baby. Fire off a torch song. I don't know why they set the sun up. Mm! Love it when a plan comes together. Torch song in the rain. In the rain? No, in the sun. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one I was looking for. Alright, we can't heal on this. That's for sure. Okay. Who she got? An Altaria? You know what? Tinkerton's the one for that. We're switching a lot more in this one. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Alright. Well. All right. All right. Play rough, baby. Doesn't one shot. Is that in the sun? Or is the sun gone? I think the sun's gone. 
Thank Christ for that. Maybe that's why you set up the sun. Because you'd bring ice types to a flying type. Sets up a sun and have one of the flying types with fire. Whoa. Uh, Oricorio. You think it's the fire type Oricorio? No, it's the electric type. Interesting. Alright. I'm just going to stick with the play rough. Tita dance. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Don't like that. Um. Do I switch out? Yes. Let's go back to Bax Calibur. Um. See what we can do here. See what we can do here. Revelation dance. We eat. We eat that. Alright. I'm gonna go for the heal. I was waiting for a mon I could heal back Scalibur on, then this is it. This is it right here, baby. This is it right here, boy, boy. Air Slash does shit. Ice Fang. We miss. Of course we do. Why would we land it? And he gets to land a Tia Dance. Ah. Come on, bro. Come on. Remember when we healed? Yeah, that was a fun time. Yes, ah! Come on, man. Alright. I'm just gonna go scare a legend torch somewhere. Not what I wanted to do. I only got 2 PP on Torch Song. I'm gonna have to use an effort. That hurts. Get myself twice in confusion and missed an ice thing. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Talk about unfair. Alright, what's your last mon? Amigo! I'm just gonna stay in. I'm just gonna stay in. Might as well use my last torch, though. At the risk of messing up my suit a bit, it's time to get a wind at her backs. Did he pick up the wrong ball? <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Yeah, okay. Um... Oh, Tinkerton, we can fake out Gigaton Hammer. Right. Take out. So we chip damage. Into Gigaton Hammer. Larry's giving us the most work. Close combat? Ah! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. We lived on free, bro. Yay! Alright. God damn. Well, that took the wind from out under our wings. Points evolving. You gotta love these mids.
Mid Elite 4 <laughs> evolutions, you know? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We're working on multiple things at once. What can I say? What can I say? No, I don't want to see that one. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder, like, La Premier, Premier, Premiera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the League 4 is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Oh yeah, Hassel. Oh, now where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you need me to speak up a little bit more. Hassel? Hassel, you're up next! Hello there, Jigsaw. Delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? He just looks away. <laughs> okay. I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed, yes. But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now, teacher's duty is to guide students to aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield all my might with the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel, the Dragon Guardian. Dragon guarding the final fortress of the Elite Four. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels. Okay. There we go. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, a Noivern. Show me everything you've got. I shall face you with my full strength. Okay. I'm gonna go Tinker Time. Dragon, eh? Dragon, eh? Yeah, Slash, we eat that. We eat that. We could pay rough. Super Fang, that's so lame. We live. Bop. Okay. Dragalgy. I think we hard count a Dragalgy to be honest. Poison Dragon. Psych. Uh, Fairy Steel. I think we hard count her. I'm gonna Gigaton Hammer. Bro! <laughs> Thanks for popping by. Paxorus? I'm gonna stay in. I don't think Haxorus can do anything to me. I'm gonna be real. Play rough, baby. Oh, he can iron head me. That is definitely something he can do. I forgot to restore my PP on my um, Skeladurge. So, that's a thing. I'm gonna Ice Fang. He outspeeds me! Uh, freeze. Damn it. Um, okay. I know what I'm going to do. Use this turn to revive Tinkerton. Sorry, sorry, Backscalibur. Um, I'm not going to go at him straight away. I'm going to go Great Tusk and Earthquake. Or Brick Break. Brick Break. I'm going to Brick Break. Oh, he's faster than my Great Tusk as well? What the hell? Okay. 
Let's get it. Flapple. Oh. You know it would have been really good. Excalibur! God damn it. Oh, we have one torch soul. You know what? Let's go scare a little dirge. Um... Or so. Decent chunk. Decent chunk indeed. He's gonna dragon rush. He's gonna miss. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Shadow ball. On to the last one. Which I think will be a back scalabar, if I'm honest. Yeah. I thought so. Only a little more until you pass. Don't let up. And he's gonna... What do you reckon? He'll dragon terrestrialize or ice terrestrialize? He's dragon, right? He's got a dragon. Come, oh great dragon, and take a terror jewel as your crown. I haven't seen the dragon terror either, actually. Come to think of it. Yeah, he's got another head and wings. Look at that. Look at that. No point in letting this drag on. Behold the power to overwhelm everything. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna hurt. Oh, yep, that hurt. Yeah, it speeds me. I wonder. I wonder if that's in fake out range. I wonder if that's in fake out range. Let's go. Larry put up the best fight. My boy Larry. There it is. You love to see it. You love to see it. You love you really do. You do love to see it. <sighs> the mighty dragon has been felled. Oh! Kibble's evolving. Bum, bum. Oh, my wrist just clicked. Oh my god, that hurt. What the hell? Oh, that really, really hurt. Jesus Christ. You really did it. Oh, wow. Huh. What wonderful! I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> Don't cry, if Grandpa Hassel. They, they, they want a hug. Sorry about this, Jigsaw. The old man can get like that sometimes. So what do I do? I'm just so overwhelmed. <laughs> Guess I'll do the talking. Anyway, your result of the Elite Four, the champion assessment is. A pass, no doubt about it. Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. You did so beautiful. <laughs> Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. See the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you face for your test, is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Oh, what a legend! I really love your Pokemon, mister. So I'll cheer as large as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire! Whoa, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this, we all know you can! How you interrupt Larry like that? 
Now go, young Jusor. The hands may be small, but let them seize a great victory. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> You're a psycho. You're actually a psycho. See you later. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome, Jigsaw. It gives me great joy that you managed to make its way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass you, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have tra a trait that some might say is inappropriate for a leech, a woman. I'm utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why no one passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful like Champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for the final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, Gita! Okay, that's a psychic type. I live with a fighting type. Oh, boy. I do hope you can defeat me and become champion yourself. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not a good lead for me. Um, Let's go, Skerilage. 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 Ooh. Lumina Crash. Ah! Special Defense Drop. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, Shadow Ball. Stop it! They always drop Special Defense? That's... Arse Cheeks, man. That is Arse Cheeks. Okay, she's gone. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. It's okay. Yes, that was the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. I try. I do what I can, you know what I'm saying? I do what I, I do what I have a lug. Oh. I'm not <sighs> Avalog's special defense is arse cheeks, right? So a torch song. Mmm! I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What have you got? King Gambit? Do I outspeed a King Gambit? He's so cool. He's so cool. Supreme Overlord. Torch Song? We outspeed? We're plus one? Let's go! A Veluza. That's the psychic fish, right? He'll be faster than me. He will be faster than me. Um, let's go back, Excalibur. We can crunch him. A loser. I wonder who our ace is going to be. You know? Alright, go for the crunch. We got speed, which is interesting. Flinch. It's fine. Alright. Larry for champion, I think. I want a pioneer for Larry for champion. Hashtag Larry for champion in the comments. Go go. Uh actually we stay in for go go. Yo, they was like we haven't seen Gogo since X and Y. Let's make it the champions Pokemon. Flinch. Yes! What's your last mon? Primera. La Primera. What's your last mon? Glimora. That's the poison thing, right? Great tusks! 
great tusks. Great tusks. Great tusks. Great tusks. <laughs> Didn't think you've won just yet. I can imagine doing something shady like becoming a flying type or something. Be the light that guides all trainers, Glimora. Got that windswept look going on. Uh, is that ground? No, rock? I think it's rock. Which is fine. Ooh, boy! That was some serious Dimashio. Oh! Why does it no dazzling gleam? What's the matter? You're not one to let something so ins insignificant fluster you. Alright, we're done. Larry for champion. What a wild move. What a wild ability, I mean. Uh, sure. <laughs> Top champion Gita done, son. You go beyond my imagination so easily. Golf claps. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you Champion Jigsaw. Congratulations is right, now I can really say you're good to go. Yeah, you did it, mister. Congratulations. This is amazing, I can't, I can't hold it anymore. Off crying again. Your Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. And amid the treasure champions are the jewels that shine brightest. Champion Jigsaw, it is now your duty to set an example for all the trainers of Paldea. Now allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find the familiar face awaiting you. Okay. Okay. This might be a really long episode and I apologize guys. But we, we did wrap up all three storylines to be fair. Jigsaw! Jigsaw! Oh man, I can tell just by looking at you did it, right? You became champion? Yep. <laughs> and I knew all along I got the word from La Première when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Jigsaw, I'm a champion and now you're a champion. Which means we're truly equals, you and me, both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. You and me, the best rivals for life. Yes, Tomaya! All right, you know what rivals do. Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm going to hit you with everything this time. You ready? You wait a moment, Champion Nimona. Uh, what's the matter, Primaria? Primera? The champion assessment has only just ended. I believe a rest is in order for Jam Jigsaw. Champion Jigsaw. Great Tusk and the others. Champions must be understanding towards their opponents. Ugh, right. There I go again, overexcited again. Sorry, Jigsaw and Great Tusk. I also must ask, is this Rosad really the setting you two want your first battle as true equals and rivals? Hmm, now that you mention it, it's a good point. In that case, can we use one of the Pokemon League battle courts? Surely there's somewhere more fitting, a place with special meaning in the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning? Um, let's see it here, leap in mind. Mesa Goza! Oh, good call, the place where we set out on our journey. That reminds me, Jigsaw. Remember back when Director Cavell explained the treasure hunt? You know where he told us to go searching our own treasure? Well, I know the treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival. Someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. That's right, I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Jigsaw. Anyway, that being said... I'll be waiting you at the battle court in Mesa Goza Central Plaza. See you there! The respect that you two share is palpable. Even a bit in enviable, to be honest. I am known as La Première, Amira. but even when facing me as a final test of the champion assessment, Champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. 
Okay. Well, we'll save that for the next episode because we've done a lot in this episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please go ahead and tap that like button down below because your support really does mean the world. And don't forget the subscribe button to help me help the Jigsaw pieces grow. I've been Jamie Jigsaw. I'll see you guys next time.